Okay, there's some more EV stuff in the in the news, and it's it really is just unbelievable. And it's it's one of those things where you know scientists, a scientist study has said that, for instance, here, new EV battery survives 54 hour salt water submersion without a scratch or spark. This isn't it isn't scientific, but I'm just trying to show you what happens when salt water gets to lithium. Now look at that. Zero faults recorded after 54 hour salt water submersion. Next test to evaluate underbody resilience in Mexico, it's done. You know, big like manana boys in Mexico. And there you go, the, uh, the battery is in a big tank of salt water. On June 17th, Cherry Automobile advanced to the second phase of its global safety challenge, conducting critical tests in Indonesia to validate battery safety under high humidity conditions. The exercise is part of Cherry's sixth scenario evaluation system, which includes heat, cold, dryness, humidity, high speed and rough terrain environments. The focus in Jakarta was on extreme humidity, a known stressor for electric vehicle EV batteries. The core of the assessment centred on the performance of Cherry's proprietary Guardian battery installed in the Cherry Super Hybrid CSH platform. The test subjected the battery to 53 hours and 51 minutes of continuous salt water soaking designed to simulate high moisture conditions that could occur in tropical or coastal deployments. The results were conclusive, no leakage, no short circuit, no thermal runaway, and complete structural integrity were reported. Representatives from 80 media outlets, local industry experts, and regulatory personnel, including Harry Pro... whoever he is, head of the sub... Why, why can't they just have simple names like Barry Crampton? Head of the Subdirectorate of Motor Vehicle Type Testing, Ministry of Transportation and notary Christian Anderson were present to witness and validate the procedure independently. Once reinstalled in the vehicle post-immersion, the Guardian battery powered the system on the first attempt and delivered stable energy throughout a controlled road trial. No anomalies were recorded during or after the driving phase. The Guardian battery features IP68 rated waterproof and dust protection and ultra fast two millisecond emergency power cutoff mechanism and an operating temperature envelope ranging from minus 35 degrees to 60 degrees centigrade. In addition, it includes 24 seven real-time health monitoring system. These capabilities combined with advanced electrical insulation and heat management architecture position the battery among the most robust units in its class. No failures. Passive safety mechanisms were also showcased. The TIG 08 CSH vehicle, the platform host for the Guardian battery is outfitted with a high strength steel underbody plate rated at 780 MPA tensile strength. This provides enhanced resistance against physical deformation or puncture during terrain induced impact. Beyond the technical demonstration, Cherry emphasized practical usability during the event. The TIG 08 CSH 5 plus 2 seating layout, automated third row folding seats and a class leading 1930 litre cargo capacity were demonstrated. In addition, the vehicle well, to be honest, we're not interested in that. We're interested in the battery safety. Now, these tests that scientists do, they'd be better off not doing stuff like this because that's a waste of time and curing cancer or other things that actually matter. You see, because just immersing something in water that's actually on a car, and when a car's outside, it hits water at 60 miles an hour or 70 miles an hour on the motorway or goes through a water splash or is in the rain. It's bouncing up and down, flexing all the time. I don't see that doing that in that tank. So that test is a complete waste of time. Now, do you want to see something funny? I'm no scientist, okay? I've got some salt water here. 
okay? Now I've coloured it so that you can see it on camera. Here, I've got two little blocks of lithium. I don't, oh, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to touch it because, oh dear me. Oh, it's, it's burning my desk already. I don't want to touch it. Got one of those blocks of lithium in it. Oh God, oh dear. It's, lithium is so tricky to handle. I mean, you, you, you touch it. Right, so that's the two blocks immersed in salt water. I'm gonna cover it up for my own safety, okay? There we go. Let's just see what happens now. I mean, can you see it? It's smoking already. Oh, crikey. I should back, perhaps sit back here. That's... I mean, th this isn't... It isn't scientific. But I'm just trying to show you what happens when salt water gets to lithium. Now look at that. Are you ready? I don't want it to flare up. There you go. Now you have to watch it because the fumes coming off it are toxic. And I've only got my fan on in here. I've not got breathing apparatus. Now that completely disproves this. As soon as it gets in my... Uh, now full disclosure. The lithium uh, I had in the freezer. And um, it's metal ice cubes and that's not salt water it's glenfiddich <laughs> and that's me smoking machine <laughs> and this is an old-fashioned <laughs> cheers uev boys have a good night oh. This test is as accurate as that one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ta-da.